Woo! Hey, I'm back again. We got the blue raspberry Italian ice, 3.2. I'm gonna talk to you about terrorists in America. Some say I'm a terrorist, you know. I'm on the FBI watch list. I said, if the FBI is watching me, you need to be focused about getting me my money and getting the people that are stealing from me off my back. Hey, been worried about me. But anyway, there's three types of terrorists. There's the good, the bad, the ugly. The good terrorist is, uh, you know, I don't think I've heard the title, but a terrorist that fights for his country or her country. The, he or she has a vested interest in the people of the country, the people that are there. They're fighting oppression. They're fighting the enemy. You know what I mean? And, you know, and in the case of America, you know, they love America. They love American freedom. They're here for America. Now, then you may have bad terrorists. Bad terrorists I define as, uh, well, they're kind of like the good terrorists. They love their country, or they might not love their country. They just, uh, not too bad. Kind of like a melted ice pop. Look at this one, like a, like a 4.5. It's not that bad. I think I give it a 4.0. Actually, it's not quite there. It's official. I'm giving this blue raspberry tie dye a 4. But uh, the bad terrorist wants to do something for the country, but it goes about it in a wrong way. Like, for example, the bad terrorist may be harassed by police officers and, uh, or get bad service at a store, and next thing you know, he's shooting up a store or he's, he's shooting up a school, you know, uh, somebody that just kind of flies off the loose end and they gotta they just they just go off there and really their attack is is not really it's not really it's just at random whereas the good terrorist is actually targeting uh systems and trying to do good either way they, they both generally die but then you got the ugly terrorist the ugly terrorist usually hides its ugly head and uh systems they're rich they're well funded they hide under umbrella corporations they're nested in in the government and what they do is they turn on the people they terrorize the people they terrorize nation states they write the laws that oppress the people they steal the people's money you wouldn't identify them as a terrorist if you didn't have any intelligence if you didn't have any free thought so the bad terrorist gets the abuse from the ugly terrorist and he starts just shooting random people. The good terrorist has a little more intelligence and goes after the ugly terrorist. Maybe recruiting bad terrorists and indoctrinating them to where you have good and bad terrorists working in harmony against ugly terrorists. And ideally, once both, all three terrorists they are terrorize each other to the point where their nerves are frayed and their pockets are ruined and their skins are broken to pieces. Uh, they all kind of settle down and uh, they all kind of harmonize, you know what I mean? It ain't, you know, and, and, and that's just kind of, you might see something like that evolve over the course of 20 to 60 years. You know, they, the battlefield, the change, the doctrine, and and ants, they're just, they're just a bunch of kick poo You know, they don't li generally live more than 60, 80, 100 years. So, that's all I got for that one. And don't forget to check them out. They're actually pretty good. You may like them more than I like them. Cheers, take it easy.